What's up guys, Jesse Minchin with GetHandles.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do the James Harden Psych Cross Step Back. Okay, so to do this, basically, if you, if you haven't yet, click the link in the top right-hand corner of the screen to see how to do the James Harden Sight Cross, AKA the Pistol Pete Cross, AKA the Harden Step. There's a lot of different names for it, but basically, you wanna know how to do that. We're gonna do a variation of that to do this. So, what's gonna happen here is you're gonna cross over, and normally from a crossover, you're gonna go this way, right? In the Harden Step though, you're gonna come from here, you're gonna step out this way. Now, we're gonna make a simple tweak to it to make it a step back and create space. Normally, you would cross over, step with the opposite foot of the hand that has the basketball in that direction. So if the right hand has the ball, I'm gonna step with the left foot into the left direction. Try to dip down a little bit. You know, sway the hips in the chest because good defenders are gonna follow that. From there, normally what you would do is you push off that foot and come forward. All you're gonna do is make one simple tweak to the direction change you're gonna make from that. You're gonna come from here, step, and then hop back. Okay, now when you're starting to learn this, you might need to take an extra dribble as you're stepping in to go into that step back. As you get better at pounding the basketball and then floating it and being quick with your feet, you might be able to come from that right into your step back, okay? So quick breakdown. Here, stepping in, hopping back would be the advanced variation. The easier variation would be crossing over, stepping in, and having the ball touch the ground almost the same time that this foot steps out, and then hopping back, okay? So it would look like that okay and then the advanced variation will look like this okay notice how I kind of float the ball across more I don't have to get this hand on it quite as quickly to do that so that allows me to take that step in and go right into that hop back from that okay and it's a little bit of a tweak on the timing too because normally in the hardened step you're gonna cross over and then when the ball gets in the hand then you step whereas this one you're gonna step in almost the same time that you're crossing over. So it's a little bit of a tweak in the timing. One final key is from this step back, you wanna to try to land on both feet. That's gonna allow you to get up under that shot a little bit more quickly. So when you step in, hop back and land on both feet. And again, think about your foot positioning. You're probably, if you're a left-handed shooter, you're gonna to wanna to have your feet with the left foot slightly forward, pointing slightly to the right. If you're a right-handed shooter, you might wanna flip everything that you're doing and step out with this right foot so it's forward and then hop back so that right foot's forward and you're pointing slightly to the left with your feet so you can align that shooting up. But let's take a look at both these variations from some different angles. Make sure you click this link in the top right hand corner screen. That's a free workout that's already helped thousands of players. It's probably gonna help you too. All you have to do is click that link, hop in your email, and I'll send that workout to you right away for free. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and get on that notification squad. And as always, leave a comment down below. If there's anything else you wanna see or learn from my channel, that's the place to let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and get after your goals today.